the beginnings of PBS was gonna probably be dismantled by Richard Nixon, whose approach to media was to threaten stations if they didn't behave politically. Nixon had a problem with his budget. He had to find money for the Vietnam War. It wasn't a lot of money in today's terms, but he wanted to cut the budget. In the midst of all this, Fred Rogers gets to go before Congress, argue for $20 million of funding to sort of solidify PBS in front of John Pastore, who's the senator who had already sort of made his congressional bones by attacking television. This is gonna be a thorough hearing. This is gonna be a hearing not to reach for a headline, but to reach for a result. There have been two days of hearings, and he hasn't been very impressed. If you've been watching those hearings and you had to bet on whether or not PBS was gonna keep going, no. That educational television should permanently struggle for subsistence is intolerable. All right, who's the next witness? <laughs> Senator Pastore told the group, I've heard everybody read your testimonies. I don't want anyone to read anymore. I'm tired of hearing the reading. When I heard about that, I thought, uh-oh, Fred. All right, Rogers, you got the floor. <laughs> and I could hear in his voice the, the nerves. Senator Pastore, this is a philosophical statement and would take about 10 minutes to read, so I'll not do that. Uh, one of the first things that a child learns in a healthy family is trust. And I trust what you have said that you will read this. It's very important to me. I care deeply about children. My first children... Will it make you happy if you read it? I'd just like to talk about it, if all it's right, all right. Sir. This is what I give. I give an expression of care every day to each child to help him realize that he is unique. I end the program by saying, you've made this day a special day by just your being you. There's no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. And I feel that if we in public television can only make it clear that feelings are mentionable and manageable, we will have done a great service. Uh, could I tell you the words of one of the songs which I feel is very important? Yes. This has to do with that good feeling of control, which I feel that the children need to know is there. And it starts out, what do you do with the mad that you feel? And that first line came straight from a child. I work with children do doing puppets in in very personal communication with small groups. What do you do with the mad that you feel? When you feel so mad, you could bite. When the whole wide world seems oh so wrong and nothing you do seems very right. It's great to be able to stop when you've planned a thing that's wrong and be able to do something else instead and think this song. I can stop when I want to can stop when I wish, can stop, 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 any time. Know that there's something deep inside that helps us become what we can. I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. <clears throat> Looks like you just earned the $20 million. <laughs> <laughs>